is something about being up high in the mountains, surrounded by nature and under a canopy of trees that helps to relax and recharge the batteries. Maybe it's the cool mountain air or the sweeping stunning views, whatever it is, it's in abundance here at Lamington National Park, where there's a long list of ways to explore this World Heritage listed patch of green. And Luke Christensen has ticked a lot of them off his list. He came to the area eight years ago and it struck such a chord with him, it's now his home. Look at this glorious day we've got out here and examples like this wow. huge tallowwood tree. This is Bigfoot. It's around uh, 500 years. Well, look up at that. I mean, a huge amount of habitat formed from a tree like this. And uh, back in the day, they would have chopped this guy down for yeah. making all sorts of things. Fence posts, piers, pylons. So um, a lot of them were chopped down. Very few really big old grandfathers of the forest like this anymore. Yeah. The track Luke and I are venturing out on is the Bellbird Circuit, graded easy. It's a two kilometre loop featuring a stunning lookout and panoramic views. This is what we've been waiting for. Oh, wow. Yeah, beautiful out here through the Numanbar Valley. You've got egg rock poking out in the middle, turtle rock over here, and the Gold Coast water supply, the Hins Dam, yes. and right off to the Gold Coast there. So this is just one of many tracks? Yeah, well this is one of the shorter walks that you can get out to quite easily, but we've got track systems that go up to 19 k's that get right around the ridges here. Oh wow. Absolutely spectacular scenery from a lot of those, and a whole range of different forest types that you'll be seeing, so Have you got a favourite? Always changing. Oh, that's like asking someone which one of their child <laughs> yeah, okay. they love the most. If so, they've got a favourite, yeah. Yeah, so it, uh, each one's got their own little thing, but uh, I do like some of the, the ones that are a little bit more remote. You get out to yeah. spots where not too many people get to see too often. Okay. For decades, Binnaburra has been the go-to place for exploring Lamington National Park. It's a bushwalker's paradise and also caters for families <laughs> or those who would opt for a stroll over a hike with several shorter tracks like this one. Clearly, the kids love it. Luke, of course, it's not just bushwalking tracks we can look forward to doing here. What else can we do? Oh, look, there's lots of things to do. There's a the flying fox, as you've probably been on that one before. Yes, great fun. We've got a whole heap of abseil sites that we've got, uh, high and low ropes course, and up at the lodge we do things like bush tucker walks and okay. bush dances and teaching cool. people about the forest and out and about. What else could I do up there, you think? I've got something just for you, Chance. How's yeah. your aim? My aim? Fine, I just aim to have a good day. Fire at will. Ah, oh, my oh, aim. Archery is another activity offered to guests and casual visitors. Well done, girls. You did very well at archery. Now, you've obviously done that before, because, Sonny, you've been coming here for so long. Yeah, actually, we've been coming for about four years now. Wow. Right. And the yeah. girls seem to, to enjoy like, all these things. Yeah, they love the activities. Um, there's plenty for them to do, yeah. whether it be um, during the day or the activities at night. There's, yeah. They're never bored. When it comes to accommodation at Binnaburra, there are a couple of options. There's the traditional mountain lodge, the rainforest campsite, or if you're looking for something fresh and new, with sweeping views and all the mod cons, then you're in luck. Binnaburra's latest development is 20 luxurious sky lodges that are perfect for families. They're fully self-contained and they'll even organise you a picnic basket or, fingers crossed, yes, a barbecue pack on a roll. The sky lodges are top notch. Beautifully finished, they go above and beyond with a kitchen, fireplace and larger rooms even have a barbie on the deck. You know, I've done my research and it's been nearly 80 years since Arthur Groom and Romeo Lay first welcomed guests here at Binnaburra Mountain Lodge. And I reckon they'd be pretty impressed with these 21st century digs, not to mention the view. 